Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Boris and Ulrika campaign. And we are fighting Manny for the 8,000th time. Um, he's really persistent, this guy. Real persistent. Anyway, let's get it. Alright, so... Uh, probably push into some space. He's probably still going to loiter um, instead of attacking, isn't he? Because there's reinforcements pending. So he's probably going to wait for those. Okay, maybe get a bit skinnier. There we go. Right, put them over there. Just sort of lock all the groups just so we can move them up a bit. And how's he looking? Yeah, see, they're loitering. They're loitering because they need to wait for the zombies. We'll speed things up. We can speed it up. We have the power. Because we're a time wizard. Alright, all those speed controls. But probably, probably because we're a time wizard. Yeah, come on. Come on, reinforcements. I mean, they're hidden, but not really. Okay, so what we're probably going to need to do is have... Uh, we can unlock them. We'll probably have this lot all shoot at the Bargeists. We'll have them just obliterate Manny. And then the Vampire Lord's probably going to land and then we can start shooting him, hopefully. Uh, we have... God, like, no magic. Basically no magic. That's very disappointing. Oh dear. Oh, what are you guys doing up there? That's Black Knights as well. That's going to be a bit of a pain up here. But I think we can get stuck in with our... In fact, can we... Maybe, like, hang out over there? We can certainly try. Uh, are you guys gonna gonna come get us? Some dire wolves over there. May need to just sort of block the way there a bit. Oh, what are the Vargas doing now? Oh, that's a problem. And of course, there's a spirit leech on us. That's a bit annoying. That's gonna sting. All right, start shooting. And you. I mean, if they're going to drag their heels like this, I'll shoot their heels with the gun. This is the age-old saying goes. Alright, start shooting the Vargas. Alright, you guys too. Well. How are we looking? It's another spirit leech, isn't it? Oh, and the Cossars this time. Weird. Alright, keep blasting them. And, uh, move them up too. They shoot the dire wolves. Alright, yeah, they're getting absolutely wrecked. Excellent. Yeah, you guys can have to turn around though. Alright, this seems to be going well. Ooh. Isn't that exciting? Yeah, they need it. They're very hurt. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright. Keep on shooting him. Jeez. Alright, ice sheet, ice sheet. Slow him down, slow him down. Alright, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. Cryptor is next. Cryptor is next. And yeah, they're nearly all dead. Right, that's mostly zombies, which sucks a bit, so, um. It's fine, we'll make it work. Okay, them next. Uh, Alright, yeah, shoot them. Oof. This is looking a bit iffy, isn't it? Alright, let's shoot across here. Uh, probably shouldn't have shot them. But it's too late to complain now. Okay, let's pull them back. Uh, you guys doing great. Proud of you. You blast them, those zombies can wait. So can these guys, probably. Uh, great, great, great weapons might have other ideas, but... We'll see how it works. Uh, so these guys seem to be doing quite well here. Seem to be doing quite well. Maybe, like, move here, though, first. Don't quite understand what these dogs think they're doing. In the widest formation ever. 
And you're nearly dead, so that's fun. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, can you shoot... Oh, it's just zombies. Oh, never mind then. Let's move over here and we'll blast them to bits. You can fight the zombies. Uh, oh, army losses. Nice. Nailed it. Well, hooray for us. Oh, you guys did well. A few hundred kills. Nicely done. Last guy standing. Good for you. I think he's I think he's trying to dab. See, this is why they lost. That's not how you dab. Silly zombie. Alright. Uh, we are going to have to go with Saliak Provides. I need the replenishment because I don't know what's coming next. And Fort Dulcan. Yeah, yeah. Kurgan Warband's up here. That's fine. Go nuts. Okay, so the Great Orthodoxy is finally deciding to attack. Uh, who are you going for? Going for village. But these two armies are still coming over here, and they have so much. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to sting. This army is not... Not really prepared for it. That is not the best garrison. I'm genuinely worried these guys are going to be able to just come in and kill everybody. Um... We're making a fair bit of money, though. I could try and raise another army here quickly and then just, like, charge it in, provided they don't attack on the first turn. That might be what I have to do. Um, so we also have this army down here. We can start with that camp and then move up. But there is a lot here that's a little bit frightening. And Manny, we just defeated his army, and he has even more than he had when he attacked us. What kind of a lunatic attacks us, loses, and then gets all of the units that you can recruit instantly. Right, it's, just, it's just very silly. Alright, let's go to this camp. Uh, Salak provides, I want to make sure they are fit as a fiddle or similar musical instrument. So there's, there's all this here. And um, Rug has plenty going on, but also... There's this garrison, which is pretty sizable. And with the injuries these lot have taken, I'm a little worried I won't be able to handle these guys. But, on the other hand, YOLO. I know, first dabbing, now I'm saying YOLO. What happened? Midlife crisis, guys. Midlife crisis. So, <laughs> Blade Master. Brilliant. And for you, let's get... Oh! Oh, we get the fun stuff. Uh, she's immortal. I didn't realise that. That's perfect. So I go Eagle Eye, but that would be boring. Scholar gives us a research rate, which is quite nice. Champion of the Ice Guard would make her better in a fight. Cooldown for spells is nice. I think we're going to go Champion of the Ice Guard. I think everyone's going to be doing that. Just making her better at fighting, you know, on bareback is great. Valentin Dubov. Let's get you... I mean, Lightning Strike is nice. Put their reinforcement time up. I actually really like that. So I'm going to do it. Because there's going to be a lot of... A lot of reinforcement here. So we can start by attacking this guy. Okay, he'll probably want to attack because there's so many reinforcements. Uh, oh, close victory. Low casualties. Okay, good. I think this is the best order to do it. Um, exclusively because he has lead belches. If I can get rid of them before the rest of the army shows up, great. But any ranged unit just, like, gets more cost-effective by, like, magnitudes. Pardon me. By, like, you know, magnitudes when you have more units, okay? The more stuff that can just, like, blob up and stop you from getting to the ranged units, the more value those ranged units will get. And lead belchers get insane value already. So, if I let all of this stuff bog me down before the lead belchers can be dealt with, they will wipe out my entire army on their own. That's all they'll need. So, that's why I picked this army first. Getting rid of this stuff is going to be incredibly powerful. That, and hopefully, um, the likes of Manny and this guy, they'll probably run straight at me um, in order to like get into the fight as quickly as possible. Same with like, their cavalry and things, so we'll probably have a long time before the other stuff arrives, and their lord will be long dead before then. Hopefully. We also have basically no magic. 
Like, I really need to spend a time, like, channeling or something. Spend a turn channeling. Because this is atrocious. I don't know how our magic reserve is that low. I have never seen it this low. And I never bother to up, up it at all. It's just usually so much higher than this. Like, it's very strange. The fact that the local province wins are the only thing making a difference. Does no one have any, like... Do none of you guys have a... Like a hedge wizard or something? I don't know. Whatever. Um... I'm not going to put them under AI control. I'm going to need to control myself, I think. But anyway, let's get to it. So, I also hadn't planned on this, but this is sort of perfect. The fact that reinforcements are coming from behind us? Um, that's perfect. Because look, we're over here, and here, our first enemy is here. They can't deploy where reinforcements are coming for them. Which will take, yeah, only a minute. Well, a couple of minutes for him. Anyway. Uh, so these guys have no choice but to fight us. They won't just, like, run away or hide or anything. So it's pretty cool. This this should work in our favour. I'm wondering what the plan is here, though. Go get them, boys. You guys may think, are you serious? Well, I want to be spread out. And then when they're dealt with, I'll need to reform anyway, so... So, yeah, I'm deadly serious. What's this? Uncovered hidden foes. There's nothing here. <laughs> Very well hidden. Still can't see the little sod. Alright, oh, come on, boys. Oh my god, they're not shooting until reinforcements arrive. That's hilarious. Oh, you silly boys. Yep, 40 more seconds. They're getting there eventually. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, you know what? You shoot them, actually. Uh, maybe you start going for the overballs? Alright. Okay, doing some damage. I like to see it. But seriously, why aren't you shooting them yet? Oh, well, you guys can attack them, I guess. I don't even know why they're not attacking. Or indeed doing anything. Wait, are you guys able to shoot? Can't even tell. That's fine. They're nearly all dead. Please, please break before you get a shot off. Please. For the love of God. Okay, good, they're running. Okay. So, yep, yeah, Vlad is running straight at us. Perfect. Perfect news. Everybody get down here. So, you guys all seem to be doing well. Uh, except for Spellcaster, who isn't. Okay, things are looking a bit iffy. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. Not, not, you know, entirely, but like quite. You know? Quite. Quite iffy. Alright, you're getting in here too. Uh, you stay on the case. You guys run back this way. Don't like the Strail Sea taking that damage. Not a fan of that. Okay, we should have him in a minute. Uh, he's looking good. Alright, everyone shoot those black knights, please. You guys keep running. You guys get stuck in. I need my Streltsy to be firing. Also, I need him to not be alive. But we don't get everything we want, do we? Alright, we've got our other Streltsy coming in. And good, they're shattered. Okay, good, 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 good. And there's this guy as well. He seems like a bit of a doink. Let's try and move him back. Okay, we're, we're getting stuck in. Alright, let's buff everyone. 
Oh, that's a pain. Uh, oh, need to get rid of that mortis engine. Okay, that's all perfect. Fire at the mortis engine. Or him as well, I guess. He seemed a little stuck, which is nice. Might get some extra kills. Okay, you guys can line up over here. Not enjoying these blood knights being involved over here. Don't like that one bit. Alright, black knight's gonna push forwards. Strelzi! Shoot the mortis engine, please. Uh, so I have some pretty good spells here that I can throw at them, but I think largely I just want to throw a battle cat at them. You know, just, just, just a cheeky little battle cat. And we're going to get these guys with the Hellstorm, because most of this stuff should be quite easy to kill. You know, should being the main word. Uh, yeah, with these guys lining up over here, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Go battle kit. Oh, there he's moving in. Okay, move up everybody. Okay, I got a Streltsy. Alright, get some buffs out there. Wow, you're gonna need to get out of there. Uh maybe. Maybe we'll be fine. How are you still alive? Alright, where where are you lot? Alright, let's get you guys. Uh I guess not you. But you two. Let's get over here and fight that guy. Let's have the Strelts here dealing with him finally. Ish. Ish. Alright. Oh, let's kill these crypt ghouls. They're actually going to be a bit frightening. Are you guys doing anything? Yes. Yes, you are. Good. Oh, no. Run, Streltsy. Run. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff starting to pile up again. I think it's time. There you go, Battle Kit. How many kills for a live over Bebjo? Almost 20k. Good. Basically all of our magic gone now though. Uh, oh, you're armored Cossos. Oh, well damn. Okay, let's get involved over here then. Right, let's get you out of there. Oh, go kill him. Come on, buddy. Let's get you out of there. And uh, buff everybody. Oh, I'm going to have to death frost this guy so I can kill him quicker. Yes. I'm going to go for that corpse cart, maybe? Or just line up a bit. Oh, you guys seem to be having a good time. Um, kind of out of magic now, though. No, oh, you're facing an odd direction. Not bad. You guys loving fun? Yeah, getting some kills. And we're basically done. Basically done with this fight. Alright, go get that corpse guard. And you can charge in there, actually. Just try and crush them. Alright, you guys seem to be doing okay. And is that going to be army losses in a minute? Well, it looks like we're getting there. I feel like you should probably get out of that fight, though, love. Come on. Come on, baby chuck. Flames coming in. Just cooking everybody. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Man, I'm so glad I got a load of Iron Drakes. Iron Drakes are cool. They're very cool. Are you retreating now? Cowards. God, so many kills. Yeah, it looks like we're almost done with them. Just a lot of graveguard in that spot. And over there, actually. And over there. Ah, there we go. Now they've had it. Now they've had it. Nice. Job is a good one. Well played, boys. Well played. Nice. Oh, look at Little Skull. This one's really shy. Oh, Cute. <laughs> Alright, moving on. 
Okay, loads of money. Um, pretty good replenishment. We didn't lose any units, which is pretty good. And most of all, most of this stuff is dead. Kinda. Ki kinda dead. He'll probably be back in a second, because, you know... Because Manfred. Ugh. What a jerk. Uh, so again, no Siege Attacker. Why don't bears have Siege Attacker? Seriously. I really feel like they should have that. And we are going to start channeling some magic. Because the fact that we don't have bloody magic is... Ooh, it's annoying. Um, so you start channeling. Um... I mean, the fire resistance actually seems quite useful, given the fact that most of the people in his army are trying to set fire to him. So, right, let's just leave it. Um, let's get him... Uh, so, we're actually on track to get, like, lightning strike and stuff for him as well, huh? Urson's favoured, just in case we do get a bunch of bears. I mean, I am fully prepared for him to have a bunch of bears. Which actually makes me wonder, maybe I should recruit a bunch of bears. It'll take a long time to recruit. An awful long time to recruit. So, I get a couple queued up. And then I get a couple of other units just to help uh, pad this out a bit. Because it would be good if we had a couple more armored Cossars in here or something. And in fact... Maybe I should make a little bit more room. There we go. Having a more solid front line, I think, will help, you know, our Streltsy and our Iron Drakes get work done. Should help a lot. I know the, the bears are going to be great flanking, you know, great flanking force, or just punching through the middle. Whatever I want, really. Guardian cool and scouting. Cool. I just realized her basic spell hadn't been fully upgraded yet. I should really do that. And for you, lightning strike. For Peter, uh, Gostilsin. Sorry, Gulitsin. Go devastating charge. Pack them up and for Libova Bebchuk. Who's Stinker? Sure, why the hell not? Excellent. So that's looking good. Uh, I'm not seeing any other undead running around, but that doesn't mean they're not around. You know what they're like. Ruddy undead. And yep, let's get that done. Uh, oh, we don't actually have a garrison building in Igorov yet. Wow, this place is definitely still recovering, huh? Uh, Fortenhof, we can upgrade. We can upgrade a lot of this stuff quite nicely. We are kind of rolling in money right now. Which is a nice change. Let's get... Uh, let's get one of these built. Tonic Sign Tower can be the one to scare things off, and Castle Drakenhof can just focus on all the income buildings. When the time comes, anyway. So, what else have we got going on? Big old, big old war against chaos up here. Annoyed that these guys are still cowered together. Um, a little bit of Magdova can get something. I mean, she's basically maxed out level now. Pretty much. Eh, yeah, spell resist. Then I'll do earthing. Why well, can't upgrade withering more, actually? Can we just max out withering? I really should do earthing so it's just miscast, but I also don't really care if she miscast. I mean, 15% isn't really going to change much. Out, like, you know, in terms of outcomes, it's going to be pretty similar. And, of course, she can't level up any further at all. Uh, so, yeah, that's back to bloody ogre territory, because of course it is. Um, that, I yeah, the garrison... Oh, actually... I think if they attack the garrison... Oh, no, it's a land battle. Even then, though, could we win this? I feel like maybe. Just because they don't have much armor. They will take a lot of damage from all of this, like... All of this weaponry, you know? Too reckless. Eh, I'll leave it. <laughs> Too reckless. I'll leave it for now. Uh, we'll get Boris to go do something first. Uh, do we want to just run him in? Probably, right? Hear me roar. He can take on these two armies. I'm pretty sure he can. I, the I mean, it's mostly Cossars, which kind of suck, but just the three of these guys just running in. 
can just wail on all these people Not a chance. for weeks, you know. Uh, the Marauder Hunters Denied. might be a bit of a problem. But, Hi. yeah, as long as I've got my armoured Corsairs in the front and all my Corsairs in the back are focused on those ranged units, the Bears can get some flanks on their Marauder the Champions. You know, I think I think Boris can 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 actually Incredible. handle that. Grigor Galavac, though, I'm not entirely sure about him. Just the sheer numbers here. No, a step too it's, it's a lot. It's a hell of a lot. Madness. No. So they can't seem to be able to get over this river. So that's nice. Big fan of that. Uh, glut port. Let's make a more gluttonous port out of it. And you guys, where are you going to go? You still can't quite reach there. Actually, you can. You can reach this guy. Let's go for this guy, then we'll take over the Bleeding Spire. Okay, good. And let's go with uh, Salek for Vines. And then get the Bleeding Spire. And we will colonize it. And we will build that back up. Right. Let's level you up, shall we? Uh, fervent. Be more fervent. This is mine by right. Oh, then you should probably level up too, huh? Uh, so, Salak's Lullaby for the healing, which is pretty great, honestly. I mean, that is pretty marvellous. Ugh. Do I want that, or do I just want to go in with a Tor's Battle him? I really like Tor's Battle him. So I'm going to do that. Also, more replenishing of the troops. Or else, where will I get them? Frost Weaver. Okay, you're looking good. Um, I say that. It's actually going to be quite, quite a long time to get over here, I think. Yeah. Lame. Alright. Um, more income. Sounds good. And we still got... Oh, okay. This guy's just been sort of circling me. I'm not enjoying the fact that there are two armies here, though. And another one over here. None but Slanesh may dominate me. And we can recruit someone here. Loyalty. Uh, Hydrex. Just always. Baron always. Mother. Let's get you. Perfect. Ooh, we took quite a bit of damage. But they're dead. Uh, so these guys won't be able to get into the sea and fight me. Uh, hopefully one will jump in and move a little bit and, you know, we can take them out before the other one shows up. Don't really want to fight them both at once, though. Uh, but we are getting replenishment here, which is nice. So I'm going to move back a little bit. Okay. Let's get you... Uh, sandy ground. Perfect. And for uh, Svetkova Chai... Kaitra? I can't go to it. Marvellous. That's what I like to see. Also, we've got some more dilemmas. Uh, Bella Agorovac. We can go Fighter or Martial Magician. Uh, fighter. And for uh, Vaena von Nimro, Nim, Nimrowitz Skit, let's, uh, let's do something else. Stalker or Unbreakable? Stalker. Invisible Eye Switches. Sounds great to me. And now it's Ataman time. At a man, at a man, at a mighty, mighty big man. Let's go with this one. Because I think that's the one who actually has a dilemma. But usually when it doesn't scoot you directly to the dilemma, it's because a, there's a couple. Yeah, see, look. Leonid ha also has something going on. Uh, investor, obviously. Obviously investor. Because we're so broke, only earning 10 grand a turn. Uh, observant? Construction time, minus 35% for all buildings, is wild. Let's get that one. Now we just have to hope this city doesn't fall. I, I really hope I this city doesn't fall. So let's have a look. Great Orthodoxy. Hang on a minute. Karakazul, Great Orthodoxy. Why is it only those two? Why haven't uh, Karakadrin? Oh my god, they destroyed Nashrak's lair. Are you kidding me? We just lost our outpost. Oh, that sucks so much. Oh, you little swine. The ice I'll have to make a new one at some point, I guess. Uh, but we can get some more units in this army if we wanted. Can't really get any for the Great Orthodoxy, though, can we? Oh, and our allied recruitment is up. So sure, we can recruit some more stuff here. 
Obviously, I'm going to go with some stealthy. And that'll be that. Oh my god, we didn't have any siege equipment being built. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Thanks, game. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, Hallowed Wood can be built up. And I think we're done. I think we're done for the turn. Although I may attack uh, Vault Plebeer Axe. Definitely said that correctly. Definitely. Uh, you're also recruiting. And... Didn't I have another army? Oh, here he is. Yeah, this one. We're getting some more cannons at the moment. I accept only loyal. Well, I guess that'll do. Oh, we have you as well. You can you can join the gang. Um Wow before me. I can get a lot more patriarchs. Just can't get them from there. Yeah, this would be a cool army though. Alright, moving on. And I yeah, we didn't need to move him. Where he was was sort of irrelevant. It's fine. Allow me to give you a czar's welcome. Hello. Join the war. I, mm, I'm almost prepared, honestly. And presumably, Greasus is fighting up here. He won't have anything on my borders. Presumably. He may do. Might not, though. Might not, though. Um, let's do it. Screw it. If we get attacked and things get real hairy, fine. You know, it'll add some spice, won't it? And I know, attacking him at all is a bit silly, but... Oh no. It looks like the enemy are trying to ambush me. They might try and ambush the bear. Well, come ambush the bear. Ambush the bear for Kislev. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Let's take over the city now. Oh, would you look at that? We're, uh, yeah, I, I know. It's fine. Sal just fell to seduction. Uh, so these two should be in range of each other now. They are. Nice. Let's upgrade that. City splinters I'm going to upgrade for some reason. Am I just going to keep this now? No, I'm pretty sure we're going to give it back to, to these guys, but... Yeah. I mean, I could just keep upgrading it anyway. I kind of feel like I want to give this area up as well. Another time. Don't know whether I want to attack them or not. Uh, Blizzard Peak. Yeah, let's upgrade you. Got more trade goods. Do we have any trade partners left? Not really. Not really. I think the people we're going to be trading with um, probably don't like us very much. Um, because we were trading with... I mean, okay, we're trading with him, but we're probably going to declare on his sister, which is going to ruin that. And uh, we're trading with Castelton, who we are going to... Oh, the dwarfs. Of course, we still have the dwarfs. But yeah, then Castelton was... we're going to confederate, so... Yeah, it's just the dwarfs. Just the dwarfs. They get all the trade. Uh, which, six grand, so that's pretty good at the moment. Kind of. It'll do. All right, anyway, um, how are we looking at it here? Can we have it? Can we have it without losing anyone? Uh, we can, good. This is mine now. Boop. Perfect. So, this city is under siege, but we'll die just to one of the armies. Isn't that fun? Uh, will we though? Will we actually? I mean, the answer is perhaps, but I think we need to fight this just so he then attacks us afterwards, right? Because like he's not a dragon or anything, so really it's just the um, these discs and uh, the golden griffin of Griffin of Thergy that I need to worry about in the sky. And then everything else, like, a lot of it's just Chaos Warriors and things. I think I'll whittle down pretty happily anyway. I think we can probably handle this. We're going to have to try. Okay, beautiful day for it. Um, What is this formation? <laughs> it's so silly. Alright, we have a bunch of Armoured Cossars, which are going to really help a lot in this battle. Um, I think we're going to come at them from a jaunty angle. 
No point fighting fighting chaos unless you're going to be jaunty. Uh, oh my god, we have even more of them over here. Alright, you hang back, I guess. Because we are going to do the usual um, thing of stacking everyone up. Because we have no reason to do anything else. Because stacking up is how chaos dies. And we have a boyard. And we have an eye switch. And we have a bunch, bunch of winged lancers hiding in the trees. I'd, I'd hide these in the trees, but... This is what a helicopter looks like when it's walking. Can I, can I hide you in the trees? No. That would have been very funny if I could just have them landed in the, in the trees. But no, we're going to put them in the sky, shoot stuff. It's going to be great. It's a whole thing. Alright. Perfect. Now let's, um... Sure. Uh, we are going to let them charge downhill at us, which is probably a terrible idea. Defenders of but it's fine. Because I say so. Yeah, those uh, knights of immolation are very scary. Also, just the size of this windmill. Actually, is it is it absurdly large? It seems very large. But, like, it's clearly a very big mill. You know. I think it was, like, disproportionate. Frickin' owl. Rude. And there's that bloody battle goose. Alright, mess him up. Okay, I'm intimidated. Alright, go for that. Griffin. Oh, he's not really a griffin. Okay, so he doesn't have missile resist, which is interesting. This is gonna sting, isn't it? Oh, he's landing, he's landing. He's thinking about landing. Oh god. Alright, please hurry up and kill them, guys. Please hurry up and kill them. Alright, why don't you get out of there? Oh, he seems to be doing okay over there. And you lot start shooting him. You guys, oh, Severed Claw with their flipping... Alright, up and around. Alright, come on, let's get those Knights of Immolation. Uh, this is all fine. Nope. Jesus. Rude much. Alright, come on, kill him. Kill him already. Uh, I think we're good. Oh yeah, Gyrocop survived. Nice. Alright, let's hit these guys. This is two lots of Chaos Warriors, so hitting them is going to be incredibly powerful. How are you still alive? Seriously. Okay, have him. Nice. Right, let's hit him again. And get out of there. Alright, charge him down. You guys, start shooting over here. And, oh, yeah, they got you. Rude. Alright, let's go to these, these marauders. Yeah, that should work. Get on those pink hovers. Alright, yeah, you lot doing well. Uh, let's start shooting the Chaos Federal Manticore. I, I thought so too. I thought so too. They're still... Still over there, which is very annoying. Alright, let's, let's try and get them to back up by charging them. Wow, not excellent at all. Not even taking a scratch. Like, their barrier's not even been touched yet. It's crazy. Alright, Boyard. 
Go get it. You shooting anything? Apparently. Apparently so. Alright, get out of there. Uh, okay, good. That's good news. Alright, go take those armored cars I was down. Alright, Chaos Chariots is Cinch getting wrecked. And good. There's the army losses. I mean, we honestly suffered pretty high casualties there. Uh, yeah, we lost a thousand. But they lost an army, so... You know. So it's still not bad. Hopefully it's bought us some time. Hopefully it has bought us some time. Oh no, I can't tell you to attack. I can. That was odd. This wasn't let me click on them there. You're still trying to shoot down the chariots. I mean, you are giving it a good go. It would be great if you could actually kill some. Really need these guys dead. Well, got any yet? Nope, still four. Uh, still four. Alright, oh, never mind. And we hadn't lost a thousand at all. What was I looking at? What numbers were I looking at? That's very strange. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, we lost 500 men. Let's go with. Uh, replenishment. We got two, right? Just, it's that simple. We just we got two. So he's running off. And of course, he's going to loiter. Uh, I'm almost tempted to chase him down. And then come back and carry on recruiting. But I think they could probably beat me. So I don't want to. Uh, but Frost Maiden uh, recruitment capacity just went up, so that's nice. Candidates for membership of the Ice Court must be sought among the young of Edingrad and indoctrinated into its myriad customs and rights. So what that means we can do is get a spellcaster for this army. Frost Maiden. Uh, we only have Ursula Costina, who has perfect vigor and Ice Guard melee attack bonuses. How fancy. And some roads are angry with me. Uh, so, rank 6 is pretty good. Pretty good for a goblin. Uh, let's get that. Frost shield, ice sheet, death frost. And frost blades. We're getting one of each. Getting every flavor today. Good. Now, let's get some ice guard. Because I feel like that's important. Um, also... Uh, oh, we can get them a much higher rank if we get them locally. So I'll get the Cossars here. We'll just wait a bit longer. Uh, let's go with Glaives. So we have some anti-large. That wise. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Okay, what else? Maybe just more Cossars to fill up the ranks. But I mean, they're going to be cheaper locally, or better locally, rather, so screw it. Actually, armored cossacks. With. Probably don't need great weapons, though. Alright. That'll do. And make sure that order still stands, because I filled up the roster. So that'll be one army. We'll have it soon. And um, we have this one as well, who we will need to rely on global recruitment quite a lot. I think we're just going to go with a bunch of um, armored Cossars. Probably go with the higher melee defense, but that is pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. Alright. How's Bodis doing? He's still loitering, isn't he? Sure is. Yeah, and she needs to level up, but she can't, so don't worry about it. I can't even bother to fight those demons. And you're on your way over here. And, I mean, I can attack that, but then I'm going to be sort of stranded over there, I think. Actually, maybe I can get back if I go into March Stance. We'll see. So, let's close the rift. Okay, brilliant. Let's go with replenishment. And, okay, I can't get back. That's disappointing. So, I guess just do that. It's fine. God, all you guys leveling up. Uh, Tor's battled him. That's right. 
It's always battled him all the way. So, Peter. Other Peter. Everyone's other Peter. Uh, Blade Master. And for Spartak. Uh, uh, Kiriakin. Let's make Tools battle him quicker. Good. So, a bit of extra cash. Uh, so let's do a bit of that. And... You know what? We can make them suffer attrition, can't we? If we go with one of these. There we go. Yeah, now how do you like it? Jerk. Also, that would have been good for whittling down these armies too. Would have been nice. And him. Oh god, he's right here as well. Like, Stelton, you are? Okay, he's still going for him apparently. Don't know where she's, she's going. Kind of need to deal with Moobs and Freg here. But hey, we have Bacarfen now, which is nice. We have all of it. And you both have pretty good looking armies right now. Oh, I'm proud of you. So, Valentin Dubal. Rank 40 now. That's real good. Good for you, buddy. Good for you. Let's max out Lightning Strike. I thought so. I thought so. I mean, there's only lords that could have it, so it felt like it's probably probably the case. Uh, soothsaying, why not? Cool. Okay, well, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, but we made some progress. Uh, I reckon... I, th I think these are the final two settlements. They are. So, next turn... Actually, crap, turn after, isn't it? Because, yeah, two more turns to recruit the bears. But, uh, okay, in a couple turns' time, he can run over here, take that, he can run over there, take that, and done. Then, of course, there's all the the flipping ogres that we're at war with, too, but, you know, don't worry about that. Okay, this is iffy, but broadly, I'd say we're doing quite well. Cool. I guess if we're recruiting something, I mean, it's not going to stick, but I may as well throw someone else in the queue there, just to try and get it done, but, um... God, I wish we could guarantee a turn of replenishment. I really do. But I think between these three armies, we might be in trouble. It really depends on if, like, Castelton can come in here and do something. So, I don't know. And we do get a level up. You know, this this may help. <laughs> Maybe. Perhaps. Slightly. Maybe. I already said maybe, didn't I? Uh, Death Frost. Some more. Nice sheet. Cool. Alright, so one thing that is in our favour, of course, is that this is a city, and if they do want to besiege it, we will get all the bonuses and benefits of defending a city, like the tower walls and things, shooting, and all the rest of it. So hopefully, hopefully we'll be fine. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.